Well, hello, good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back. Jujitsu 2000 here today. I'm back. Today, I'm going to upgrade my laptop. I'm going to increase the amount of RAM that this laptop runs on. So this is going to be a little bit out of the norm type of video that you would see on this channel. But this laptop is one of the laptops that I use to edit a lot of my videos. Now, it's a gaming laptop. It's a very nice one. It's got the Intel i7 8th generation processor. And it's got currently 16 gigabytes of RAM in it. Now that crushes 1080p, no problem. I mean, it goes through 1080 like it's nothing. And it even does very well on 4K. But recently, I upgraded some cameras and things that I use for most of my videos on my channel. And some of the frame rates on 4K footage are 60 frames. So when I do a lot of cuts and splices and adding audio and making all these changes, sometimes it maxes out my memory. When it gets up to around 16 gigs, some of my video editing software locks up. So that's what I'm gonna do today. I'm gonna upgrade the RAM from 16 to 32 gigs. Now, before you do something like this, you want to make sure that you're looking up the model number of your laptop and make note of the specs and make sure that it's capable of being upgraded like what I'm fixing to do. So I have a small screwdriver here. This has a very tiny Torx on it and all these screws on the outside of the well not those two but all these screws here on the outside of the case I've already taken off you can see them stuck right here to this magnet so now I'm gonna continue and I'm gonna remove these other screws you can see I put circles around them because they're a little bit longer okay so I'm gonna just see how they're a little bit longer so I'm gonna remove those guys take them out and that'll give me access to the whole bottom side of this laptop so the only long ones that exist are one two three four five there's five long screws and all the rest are like I said a second ago they go around the edge of the laptop so if you get confused just know that the ones in the middle the two on the back and the two on the middle they, they're all longer screws so again, I'm going to remove all these guys and I keep that magnet handy so that I can not lose any of my screws. You want to be careful with that magnet around your laptop. Don't want to get it around the electronics or anything like that. So I keep it away. It's just holding my screws is all it's doing. So now that I have all the screws out, I can take a flathead screwdriver and find a little area to kind of pry on. You don't have to pry real hard. We're not trying to break this thing open. We're just trying to get it, get the case split so we can get to the inter internal of the laptop. So something like this. Just like that, come on. There we go. Don't have to pry anything or make anything real heavy. Now right here you can see that this laptop came with the one terabyte um, regular hard drive and I changed it out already I put this little solid state this little SSD in there this right here is the uh, the SSD this is a PCI Express SSD and this is one 16 gigabyte module and here is my other 16 gigabyte module now this RAM operates here's a here's the specs on it 2666 megahertz so I'm gonna pull this out make sure that you're not standing on carpet or a bunch of static type situation because these components don't like 
static electricity. So there is the new module. So you want to see this little slot in the center, and that slot in the center will correspond to this little slot right here. So you just kind of lean that bad boy in, pop it down into place, and we're done installing the RAM. That's all it takes. From here, we're going to take this cover, we're going to put it right back over the laptop, and we're done. Now I have 32 gigabytes of RAM. Let's find all those long screws. There's one, two, three, four, and five. So I'm going to get these screws put in, and that's all there is to it. So folks, I want to say thank you for joining me today on this little video upgrading the RAM on one of my video editing laptops. This, now that I have 32 gigabytes of RAM, I should have no problems rendering those 4K60 videos. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Please feel free to leave your comments down below, like this video, share this video, and as always, thanks for stopping by. I hope you have a beautiful day. And we'll talk at you later. Bye for now. So right now we're on the computer. And on the right here you can see that I'm rendering a project. I'm rendering this video to 4K30. And this happens to be one of the videos that I kept getting hung up on. It would fail during render. And right here if you take a look at the memory. You can see that I'm using way above 16 gigs. 18.6, 18.219. So definitely, uh, right here, you can also see that I have 31.2 gigs available. So that upgrade is definitely nice, especially when you're going to be rendering, rendering such a hard video that's going to be using so much RAM. You know, I just had a lot of editing in that video. So I'm happy, and so far, uh, the render is going very well. I've made it way farther than I ever did.